All right, Mauro, a common problem every homeowner is faced with. They move a picture, they patch the hole from the old picture hanger, and yep. now they've got to match the paint. Not always easy to do. Not always easy to do, Kevin. First thing, when we come to this situation, one couple of good information that I need, um, who manufactured the paint? Okay. What color was it? Right. And what sheen was it? Okay. Um, and what do you do? The homeowner says, boy, I don't know, but maybe there's a can of it kicking around somewhere. Absolutely. I will try the basement, see if there's a leftover can down here. Yeah. I will check the garage. So that's the best case scenario. You find a can in the basement. Worst yeah. case scenario, no can in the basement. Homeowners can't tell you anything about the paint on the wall. What are you doing then? Well, I carry my color wheel with me at all the times. Mm -hmm. So I can try to get a color here closer to the wall. Just put them up, look at the swatches. Okay. Yep. You probably have one. You do have one of these. Homeowners I do probably have one. Yes. don't, though. If you're not working with one of these. If they don't have one, homeowners usually don't have one, they can go to a home center or a local paint store and can get those painting chips that can get it closer to the wall as possible. You can pull these off of the rack, try to find a match. But that's a lot of back and forth and no guarantee for success. Absolutely. In that case, since we can't get any luck in getting the you know, closer color to this, I will have my utility knife and I'll choose a place that's right, a wall behind a piece of furniture and we'll cut a little piece. And so there is a little layer of paper on the drywall. You're Absolutely trying to that. slice off just that? Yeah, we'll try to take just the paper out. Mm -hmm. If we can get, then we'll take the whole piece out. Okay. So I'm going to bring it to the paint store or the home center, what they have, electronic readers. It will read this color, and then we can have a customized paint to match that color weight. And the color reader will then tell the machine which pigments and how much of them to put into the, the raw paint. To make Absolutely. A new yeah, that's going to be a custom match that we have here. So I'm going to open this can. Is that what that can is? That's actually something you had custom made off of a scan? Off of the scan, they gave me this formulation with it close, very close to the wall color here. All right, so let's talk technique. Um, right, technique. When we have like a small patches like this, I like to use this foam brushes. Yeah. It's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. This is what we need for those small patches. Obviously, it's a little different color now, but when that sets up, you think you're going to have a nice match when it dries? I think it's going to be very, very close. So that's sufficient for a couple small nail holes, even for the repair that you're going to make where you peeled this piece of paper away. Absolutely. That's going to be a new patch right there. Let's say there's more damage. An electrician's moved some outlets around, and now we've got a couple holes or bigger holes. At okay. what point are we repainting the entire wall? Well, if it's bigger than this two here, we might as well paint the whole wall. Just yeah. one wall? I mean, so, when are we painting the adjacent walls? Well, it's all depends on how old this paint job was. How old? Exactly. And how much light is breaking into this room. So you don't see it. You paint one wall, maybe you have to paint another more, wall. And more light means what? That it's faded the older paint? It's or that faded. so much light will give you less of a place to disguise? The sun hits the wall, the color fades. Yeah. It's, it's an old paint job. Yeah. So we might as well paint this wall and the wall next to it. And are you ever in a situation where you say, I'm not even going to try to match, I'm just going to go right to repainting the whole room? Absolutely. When we get to match darker colors like dark red, dark brown, dark greens, don't waste your time with touch-ups. not going to work. Not going to work? Absolutely not. You might as well paint the whole wall or even all the walls in this room. Okay. Good information, Mauro. And of course, if you don't have the color written down or a can in the basement, make sure when you get uh, the new can, hang on to the information. Save it. It's going to save you a lot of money, too. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.